In this lecture, you have learned how to compute the topological invariance given a specific Hamiltonian. I assume that you are now all confident that in principle you can implement the required algorithms if you ever face this task. Part of the difficulties in determining the invariance are due to the fact that in higher dimensions there are a lot of momentum variables to take care of. As algorithms which you have learned in this course determine the topological invariance from the scattering properties of the system, you gain one dimension with respect to usual approaches employing the Hamiltonian, simply due to the fact that the scattering matrix is a surface property of the system. Determining the topological invariant of a Vandy system by the scattering matrix thus becomes as simple as determining the topological invariant of a zero-D system in the Hamiltonian formulation. You have been shown that the topological invariants are given by either the trace, the determinant, or the Pfaffian of the reflection matrix of the system, all of which can be determined very efficiently using well-established algorithms. In two dimensions, you have for the first time faced the problem of determining a binding number. As I have shown to you in the introductory comment, in this case it seems like one has to have a lot of sample points in the Brillouin zone in order to be sure to have determined the right quantity. However, in this lecture you have learned an algorithm which reduces the problem of determining the binding number simply counting the number of zeros of a polynomial within the unit circle in the complex plane. This task can be performed very efficiently again using standard algorithms. Additionally, you have learned an efficient algorithm to calculate the topological invariant of a 3D system using the so-called bot index. So now you have all the tools needed to determine the topological invariance, and thus you can predict the number and the nature of the protected interface states when bringing two materials with different topologies together.